Okay, hello everyone, my name is Devin, and welcome to a game called Valkyria Chronicles 4. I know it's been a while since I've last uploaded, but I don't care, okay? Do you... Is my microphone working? Hold on, hold on, I gotta go make sure my microphone's actually working. <laughs> Alright, uh, mic audio, properties, this microphone, right? Okay, and we're gonna test real- Yeah, okay, it works. Okay, we're good. Alright, so it's time to play Valkyria Chronicles. I'm just kind of sorting out the audio right now because sometimes audio gets weird. Alright, so, if you don't know, I will be playing this game with a controller. I was told by a friend of mine not to do that. Unfortunately, I don't quite care. Because I'm more comfortable on a controller anyway. A friend of mine said the game plays way better on mouse and keyboard. Alright, I'm sorry about that. Uh, I got a lot going on right now, and uh, yeah. Should I play on normal or easy? Eh, let's play on easy to start. If I want to increase it later, I can. Our okay. hometown burned. That was the day we enlisted. Okay. Last, we had something to believe in. Something I have nothing to believe for. in, buddy. None of us yet knew. We couldn't foresee what this war would cost us. What war? You haven't told me anything yet. But it was where we grew up. I don't care. Guess what? I don't care, buddy. Oh, that's kind of neat. That's kind of a neat little effect. I, I like that effect. That's actually pretty cool. I like that. I like the game's art style so far. Kind of like a uh, cartoonish, you know? Kind of animated. I like that. That is actually pretty neat. Oh god, no, it's a gotcha game. I should have known. Should have known it was standard anime. Uh. Okay, I'm just writing down in a book. We got a dog! Skies and uh, oh. oh come on! Uh, huh? Oh hey, it's random uh, on, guy who I believe is supposed to be a stand-in for Jewish people. You gotta relax, man. You are way too freaking tense. Your hands are shaking. Yeah, I, I played the so first game. I never played the fourth time, though. Get ready to roll out. Let's show those imps what's come to them. I, I've only played the first game. I've never played the fourth one. A shift in the wind. There. Huh? You getting those wind whispers again? Imperials incoming! That's stupid. Right, boys! It's go time! Wait, what? What? The all were you all just hiding in the flowers? Squad E! Do you read me? Squad E! This is Commander Claude Wallace. Squad E! The Imperial forces are on the move! Heading for your position! Oh great, they got artillery. Do not let them break through to the front line! We're counting on you! Roger that. Over. Good luck, Squaddy. They won't advance until they're done shelling the area. We should have time to prepare. Kai, take a group to that southern hill and slow down their left flank. Raz, take two soldiers east and make some noise for me. You got that? Gotcha. Keep Great. moving left behind! So let me get this straight. We have a tank. But we don't have an APC or anything else. Seems like a pretty bad... Formation if we don't have an APC to get these guys moving quicker. That that just me? That might just be me. 
Very well might just be me. Maybe we, all we need is a tank. There weren't APCs in the last... Well, actually, no. There was an APC in the last game, but you were destroying it. You weren't actively using it. All Imperial hostiles. Let's stop their advance. Squad E, move out. God, I don't like this game already, but it's it's it makes me laugh. The I'll first game us. made me laugh. Just say the word, boss. I'm locked, loaded, and in freaking invincible. Okay. First, we'll see how they respond to some infantry. I know. Let's just kill them all. Yeah, so, let me get this straight. We're just gonna throw infantry into the fire. That that doesn't make much sense to me, just, like, tactically speaking. I mean, I know that's all war is, is people making bad tactical decisions. But, like, seriously. What the hell was that? Okay, I thought my phone went off. Anyway, so yeah, we're just gonna throw infantry into the fire, okay. You said that already. Okay. Looks like everyone's in position. You mean one guy. Yeah, if you don't know, this game I believe is meant to be like a stand-in for World War II, and if you don't know, the uh, people with like the darkish hair in this game. Not not that guy, the other guy. Um, what's Finally, his face? It's time. Shut up, you. Their commander. It's up to me to get everyone out alive. Only you won't, because World War II had like, what, three quarters of all the men died? Concentrate. Remember your training. We can do this. I can do this. Man, I hate this guy already. Great, I know how to play the game. I played the first one. Oh, yeah, yeah, Raz, look, look, look. This guy over here, right? The guy with, like, the darkish blue hair? Anyone with darkish blue hair is, like, a stand-in for Jewish people. So, like, it's like a World War II game, kind of. I don't know, it's hard to explain. It might become more important later. Cool, I know how to play the game. Shut up, I played the first one. As long as you guys didn't change anything crazy, I should be fine. Advance carefully. All right, so I've got a submachine gun. Oh, oh my God! You've only just told me how to take cover. Let me take cover before you tell me how to attack. Jeez. All right, this guy doesn't need to know I'm here. Wipe him out. Wow, you did it! I'm actually quite impressed. Ending actions. I don't. Yeah, this is Larry playing just like the last one. Also, I hate the people on the radio. They they don't make sense to be here. Why are they all... Oh my god, you just told me how sandbags work. I think. I don't know, maybe. Alright. Damn it, these assholes are in my way. I can't break through this. It's just one guy with a rifle. I think you can kill him. Why not? You're invincible, right? I hate you, too. Are you really getting tripped up over some common foot soldiers? Why don't you ever stop and think... Oh, shut up! Just hurry and take them out, will ya? Thought you'd never ask. This won't take long. That is not height over bore stable. Kai has deployed, okay. Now advancing. I, I just want to take a look at this rifle real quick. Oh my god, I know how snipers work. Okay, so let's see here. Yeah, look at that height over bore on that rifle. That is ridiculous. The scope is so far over the barrel, it should be lower. I don't even care. I don't care too much as long as it zeroed okay, but like, jeez. Headshot. Too easy. Okay, um, so there's another guy all the way out there, but I'm better off probably just having Raz kill him at this point. I've got this. Let's go. This game soundtrack is pretty good, though. Where are you? You're over there? 
You're there somewhere. Come on! I mean, hey, I'm not being paid by the bullet. I can just waste ammunition and be fine. Boom. Yes, yes, I know how this game works. Alright, so now they're gonna move up some foot soldiers. Why do they call it a ZM Car Zero? Zero doesn't make any sense. Maybe it's just because it's a tutorial. I don't know. Die! Yeah, dude, you totally could have taken that guy last time with the rifle. He did, like, barely any damage, and he's not too accurate. Yeah, I know. Soldiers, now is our chance to take the effect. I did not mean to skip that. Backup has arrived. Yes, yes, I know how consecutive actions work, and I don't particularly care right now. Okay, so we've got Nico, Curtis, and Zega. I th if I'm pronouncing his name right. Here comes the pain. Well, I mean, my closest guy is just gonna. Might as well just run in and kill him. Yo, look at these guys! They do, like, no damage! Yes, I know how headshots work. Generally, a headshot's gonna be more effective. Also, I love how they don't shoot me while I'm aiming a gun at them. That's kind of funny. I mean, it's weird. Yeah, gee, I never imagined. Is that my tank or an Imperial tank? It doesn't look like the Imperial tank from the last game. It looks generally more blue. Huh? This one's all yours, Claude. Why didn't we bring along any anti-tank crews? That looks like a uh, M4 Sherman. I'm not too sure. I'm not good with tanks. I'm better with weapons. Okay, the Hoffman's moving out. Destroy the enemy tank. Oh, hmm. sorry. So what is this guy a tank commander? I thought he was like a lieutenant. Maybe he could also be a tank operator. I don't know how ranks work. Here's the tank. Are you kidding me? They've got cattle crops. You really think that's gonna stop? Dude, you have no. Yeah, look, now it's more red than Blue. What? What's going on with this game? Yes, yes. I know how tank warfare works. I I only went to school for like so many years. Mm -hmm. Oh, can I hit his weak point? Fire. Well, that was easy. I didn't think they would build their tank so poorly that they just have a giant weak spot engine pointing out the back of the <laughs> tank. Anyone else want to try? Squatty, don't take shit from nobody. Sure. Claude knows what I'm. Oh, you okay? The flowers. What? Uh. Oh yeah, they didn't stand a chance. Come on, man. You're supposed to be commander of the Ranger Corps. Commander still has a heart, same as a foot soldier. Rank doesn't make this any less painful to see. Cool. Oh, but crying over flowers? Even little girls have bigger balls these days. Maybe. But what matters is that their hearts... Alright, I get it. Power of the heart, blah, blah, blah. This guy sounds like a terrible tactical commander, just, just saying. I mean, I'm glad that he has sympathy for his soldiers, but like, dude. You're a lieutenant in the... I'm assuming this was this U.S. military or something? I don't I don't know. You're, you're definitely not going to be doing much good for yourself if you can't see, like, flowers and say, Oh yeah, these flowers died. I'm not, I'm sad. You know what I'm saying? Good point. I'll head to the command center. Yeah, you do that. And tell the brass to send us tougher imps to fight next time, yeah? Yeah, no offense. This fight was really easy.
Capable commander. I'm a commander. I wonder if there's a mission for dying on the first mission of the game. <laughs> Operation Northern Cross. A new episode has been added. Book mode. Fighting back, huh? That sounds great to me. Sir, first lieutenant Claude Wallace reporting in. Great, he's a lieutenant. He's a first lieutenant, and you're telling me he gets all choked up when flowers die? I don't know if this guy's cut out for this. I mean, don't get me wrong. I get sad when my plants die, but like, this is ridiculous. Good work out there. Glad you're still in one piece. We're just about to go over our next operation. Who is this guy who looks like a bad character from Fallout New Vegas? <laughs> You're late. I'm sure you know standard procedure is to report immediately after a mission. No offense, but you try killing like three guys in a tank and then coming back here in a timely manner, okay? It's not exactly easy. Minerva, you're reporting to? Minerva, wasn't that a Greek, Roman god, whatever? That's lieutenant to you, Claude. Don't get smart with me just because we share rank. I've got seniority. That doesn't mean anything. We have the same rank. <clears throat> Sorry, Lieutenant Minerva Victor. <laughs> well, let's get started. Minerva, give us a situation report. Yes, sir. Three months have passed since we went to war. I won't sugarcoat it. They're steamrolling us. Sounds like the German Blitzkrieg. By this point, a third of our territory is under Imperial control. This is officially a crisis. Sounds a lot like the German Blitzkrieg. Empire's only gaining momentum. If this draws out much longer. Have I mentioned the German Blitzkrieg in early World War II yet? <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. The Federation's finished. Uh. If we fall, that's it for Europa. Nobody else could stand against them. Who cares? The Empire would take total control. It'd be a fascist continent ruled with an iron fist. Oh, that's why I should care. Okay. <laughs> we can't let that happen. Europa's future depends on us. <laughs> yeah. Which brings us to now. The top brass finally got off their seats and sent us a plan. Okay, what's the plan, huh? Can turn the war around in one fell swoop, ready to be put into action. Okay, is this gonna be like D Day or Operation Market Garden? What are the orders? Kind of what I'm thinking because that's gonna determine if this is Operation Market Garden or D Day. We put all our force into one strike, break through their defenses, and hit them where they'll hurt most. So, is it Operation Market Garden or Operation Overlord? You haven't told me yet. We'll use all reserves we have to make a final push and capture one crucial enemy base. And we lucky few of the 32nd Armored Ranger Battalion have been handpicked as the vanguard. Oh great, so they're they're using us to basically run into enemy machine gun nests and stuff and just get shot up. Okay, fair enough. Couldn't ask for a better mission, sir. Which enemy base are we targeting? Does it matter? Think big. We take this base, and we take their will to fight. What? But how could any one target mean that much to... Wait, you don't mean... You always were a clever boy, Claude. I think you've got it. What? No, I don't. I don't know what you're remotely talking about. Our target is the Imperial capital of Schwarzgrad. Let's fight back! Oh, great, so now it's gonna be like Stalingrad. The year 
was 1935 EC. Two great powers vied to control the continent of Europa. In the east, the sun rose over the autocratic East European Imperial Alliance, a dictatorship known as the Empire. In the cool. west, a network of loosely allied democracies banded together to form the Atlantic Federation. Oh great, so we suck, huh? Both powers depended on a precious mineral, Ragnite, for their prosperity. Its growing scarcity leading inevitably to war. With its overwhelming military might, the Empire captured one nation after another. While the Federation struggled to maintain unity, every battle driving them further back against the wall. Three months have passed. With seven-tenths of Europa falling to the Imperial War Machine, the Federation places all its hope in a desperate counterattack. Cool. Operation Northern Cross. Six million soldiers fought in this campaign. It claimed more lives than any other in the Second European War. Federation historians call it the Eastern Theater, but the Empire knows it as the War for the Motherland. Forward, soldiers! This is the battle you've been training for! Operation Northern Cross begins now! We'll wipe those Imperials clear off the face of Europa! Our time has come! I love how all of our soldiers and the enemy soldiers are just completely faceless automatons, so it really doesn't matter. Deals of reality. Ordinary people thrust into extraordinary circumstances, fighting in the hopes that they would see a brighter future. What follows here is a record of those brave warriors, a record of that battle against the dark. Based on the diary of one Claude Wallace. The commander of the Federation's Gallian Squad E. Eh? What? Okay, wow, that's a lot of uh, tanks and people. Uh, okay, I guess we're all gonna die. Okay, cool. Chapter 1 The Battle of Fort Crest. Good news, Claude. HQ has awarded you with a medal. I don't care. I don't do this for medals. Oh, yay, medal! Yes, I know how... Ex Actually, no, I don't know how accessories work. Those weren't in the last game. Equipping an accessory to a soldier can boost certain stats... I don't know. View this episode. Let's do this. At long last, we have finally entered Imperial territory. The ferocity of the Federation counterattack caught the Empire off guard. Battle by battle, town by town, we're pushing back the front, with no signs of slowing down. The road to Schwarzgrad is a long one, running at least 1,500 kilometers from friendly territory into the heart of the Empire. But at the end of it lies our target, the capital city. We have a long trek ahead of us, but for now... This is literally going to be like Operation Barbarossa, isn't it? Where, like, we try to take out the uh, Soviet Union or whatever, and we all die. Empire's not so tough after all, huh, Commander? Give them one good stomping, and all of a sudden they're running off home. So are you gonna take a picture of everything we pass? Here, let me have a look at it. Hey, Raz, come on! <laughs> Stop it! Really? You're wasting my film! Wasting? No chance. What you got here is a picture of a future hero. Ugh. You take one too, eh, Kai? Yeah, maybe. Ow, you could have just been crushed by the tang. There you go. That's a keeper. Uh, damn it, Miles! The hell was that for? Freaking hurt, Quiet. man! I told him to stop the tank. Huh? Everything okay? I love how none of us are wearing helmets, so if there's just a sniper out there, that's it, we're dead. Oh god, artillery. Also, why does that guy have an EZ? So what, is it supposed to be EZ company, EZ squad, EZ platoon? I don't know. I don't care anymore. I gave up. 
new episode has been added. Tactical obstacle. Okay, cool. They brought out the big guns. Dude, you think they just have a giant piece of artillery? Apparently, judging by how big that explosion. Well, maybe that explosion really wasn't that huge. I don't know. A blast that big could wipe out a whole squad. Easy. Yeah, that's that's terrifying to me. Let's keep moving. Well, no. If they have us sighted in, they're just gonna shoot at us. Be nearby. Flash. Thunder. Oh, great! We're British. Next time, give us the response before you scare us shitless. Apologies. I didn't mean to frighten you. Follow me. Lieutenant Victor is waiting. Who is this? <laughs> Who? Oh, you mean Minerva. And you are... Corporal Crystal Ward, from Squad M. I like you already. Indeed. Oh, I have oh, the God. of answering to Minerva Victor, the strongest and smartest officer in the army. I like you. Uh. <clears throat> I assume you saw that explosion. Oh, we saw it all right. They must be packing serious heat. A 21 centimeter howitzer. Currently, our worst nightmare. A 21 centimeter howitzer? It's 21 centimeters. 21. Centimeters to inches. That's like 8.268. Actually, yeah, no, that's pretty big. Okay. It must have a range of at least 10 kilometers. We can't advance with that thing around. I don't know. I just thought centimeters, and I'm like, that can't be big. But that's like 8.2 something inches. Just so. Our mission is to capture that cannon. Commander! And what, can we use it against the enemy? So far, Claude. Your slow pace, however, does leave something to be desired. Oh, I hate you already. I hate you already. We saw cannon fire, so we've been proceeding with caution. Keep your excuses. As I said before. That's not an excuse, that's pretty understandable. Of Operation Northern Cross hinges on our swift advance. Time is of the essence. I know. Is that all I'm gonna say? You try hustling with a huge cannon up your ass. Oh, wait. You already tried and failed. Down, boy. Claude, have you not housebroken your squad? <laughs> if I compare my squad to a dog again, I'll feed you to a dog. The hell did you say? I know, right? I'd appreciate it if you didn't insult my soldiers. They're people, not pets. Then I expect them to act like it. I'm not the one wagging my tongue. Soldiers who step out of line are often the first to die. Remember that, Sergeant Raz. Oh, really? You think that I'm gonna remember that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hope you make it out alive, too, Lieutenant. <laughs> um, Command, uh, there's a good view from the clearing. Maybe we could brief them there. Claude, come with me. Oh my god, how many times are they gonna bring me to the book? Allow me to explain your next mission. Cool. As you know, Fort Crest has a 21 centimeter howitzer that's blocking our advance. Okay. It might just look like an old castle turned into a makeshift fort. But they've stationed quite a few troops to defend the cannon. I don't know, it looks like an old castle that's been turned into an imperial fort. That's what it looks like. So when does our own cannon get here? That howitzer already destroyed it. We were outranged. Blown up already? How long will the replacement take? 
The bridge was destroyed too, so the artillery tractor can't proceed. It will take at least seven days. That's terrifying. Plenty of infantry on route. Doesn't matter how many foot soldiers we get. Without a cannon, we're just waiting around. Not necessarily. Huh? Time is of the essence. We don't have a week to wait. You're as sharp as ever. Like he says, we can't afford to wait. We'll have to capture the fort without artillery. So what? What do you expect me to do? Just throw my soldiers into a giant firing line so that the enemy can just machine gun them down? Wasn't that World War One? I? I thought this was World War Two. That's too reckless. Those turrets would fill us with more holes than Gallian cheese. Wait a minute, is Gallia Switzerland? It's a dangerous mission, I know. But those are your orders. This isn't your local militia. This is what you signed up for when you joined the Edinburgh Army. I don't care. You're right. We enlisted to crush the Empire. Yeah, speaking of that, isn't Gallia busy being invaded right now? Why aren't we over there? Not to commit suicide. Then allow me to clue you in on something. Crystal, tell them the news. Yes, ma'am. This morning, the Empire invaded Gallia. They've invaded? I knew it was only a matter of time. I told you guys, why aren't we there? What about our hometown? Is Hoffman okay? All we know is that the battle broke out near the border, at Citadel Girlandio. The Imperial Army, however, is being led by Prince Maximilian himself. Gallia's prospects look grim. Who? Oh, damn it! Is there nothing we can do? If Operation Northern Cross goes as planned, the Empire won't have the luxury of staying on the offensive. Our only option is to complete the mission as soon as possible. Guess we've got no choice then. If our home's in the Empire's sights, then we've got to protect it! By deserting this place and going home and killing everyone there! That seems like a much better plan, in my opinion. Yeah, let's do it for Galia. By not actually going to Galia and helping them. Siege of the Castle. Cool, let's do this. Here are your orders. Great, what are they? We're here to seize Fort Cress's howitzer. Squaddy will lay siege to the castle and capture the enemy camp. However, turrets guard. Okay, so great, I gotta kill those operators with snipers. Concentrate on gaining foothold and step. Yeah, I know how positioning units work. That's like one of the only things I do know. Okay, can I go to mix? Here we go. Reassign squad. Squad setup. Okay, so I've got two people, three people I don't really care about. Um, equipment. Okay, so we got the Lenfield Rifle. Uh, Robinson M91 submachine guns. M2 EQ1 anti-tank weapons. More Lenfield and an LF Wasp number one sniper rifle. Snipers are probably going to be very important. I just want to give... Raz these uh these capped bullets real quick because I have a feeling those actually I, I guess we'll give them to uh to what's her face Kai over here because that makes more sense. Alright, position the units. Alright, let's grab Raz, we'll go here. Kai. We want an engineer. And then we'll grab... We'll grab Jester, and we'll grab... Teresa. 
Just because some riflemen could be useful. Great, you couldn't have said that like five seconds ago? You ready? Take down the Imperial camp. Capture their heavy artillery. Squad E, move out! Cool, let's do this. I expected resistance, but they're tough nuts to crack. What should we do? We can't exactly rush in and kick the door down. We'll get routed if we don't have a plan. First, we need a solid foothold. Let's capture that camp. Cool. After that, well, guess we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Literally. Squad E, move out. Yes, weapons free. Murder everything in your path. Yeah, why aren't you guys helping us? I feel like having some, like, mortar teams or something posted could be very helpful. That means getting the most out of your soldiers. Don't forget the basics. Yeah, good point. I'll keep that in mind. Camps. Yes, I know how camps work. Like I said, I played the last game. Okay, moving out. Yeah, I should have brought an anti-tankman. There's there so a are. lot of those guys here. Come on, come on, we're gonna go around you. We're gonna go around you. Ha ha ha. Yeah, let's see how you like getting shot from behind. Fire! Oh, come on. Yes, yes, I know how Lancers work. I played the last game. I call him anti-tankman because that makes more sense. I see. Cool, great, they're dead now. And there's another tank, so I should move this up to act as cover for the rest of my men. Because that's a real tactic, like, actually, infantry using tanks as cover. That's a real military tactic, so that, that should work. Alright, the, the tanks do have machine guns on them. What? What? Alright, let's go. This guy, murder. Ugh. Well, I guess they're wearing helmets, so a headshot might not kill them in one hit. But like, what caliber is this rifle? I feel like it should do more damage. Oh, uh, I can also have a lot more men. I probably should call them more, huh? All right, let's move up our sniper. Are the on their way? All right, can I wipe out this machine gun? I'm gonna take a couple shots. Oh my God, I just want to take out this guy over here. Like, jeez. Right, where, where? I can't, I can't even see him. Great, Cl Kai, you're completely useless to me. Unless you can hit this machine gun emplacement, then... Okay, you know what? That was a very tiny target, and it's very hard to miss. Um, very hard to hit, sorry. I will, uh... I will let you keep your job. Great, so we got Teresa, who... I... I, I will be honest. I, I heard some stuff about this game. I haven't really, like, played through it yet. Also, why was Jester able to move so much further than Teresa? That doesn't really make much sense to me. Wow, you guys suck at shooting. Although, wow, your tiredness managed to save your life. I don't know how. Alright, let's move up our engineer. Yes, I know how engine- Oh, they can revive people? 
That actually sounds shockingly useful. Okay, so... Oh my god, I know how Ragnade works. It's just a med kit. Just call things what they are! So this guy can repair the tank, so he's better left with the tank. Just like, kind of, you know, helping it out a bit. So we'll just put you right here. No need to even shoot your rifle. You just gotta stay there with the tang. Make sure it doesn't get shot from behind or something. Oh man, these guys' rifles barely do any damage. I am honestly surprised they're giving us so much trouble if their rifles do so little damage. That's worth a raise, right? No, it's not. You doing your job is not necessarily worth a raise. Grenades... There they are. There, just wait there. Uh-oh, the enemy's moving now, so it's like a board game. Oh, so yeah, I did move it to quick because sometimes these enemy turns, they take like forever. So I switched it to quick for enemy turns. Alright, so we got a shock trooper moving up. My best bet is to outrange the shock trooper and wipe him out with my sniper. The shock troopers are the guys with SMGs, and let me tell you, SMGs against a rifleman aren't always the most effective. Don't believe me? Ask the Germans. Time to shoot you. Fire! Oh, great. I got to shoot this guy a bunch more times before I can actually do anything. Crap! I almost shot my own rifleman with a tank shell! That could have ended poorly. Yeah, that could have ended like super poorly. <laughs> so great, um, you can just shoot this tank's engine and maybe it'll do some damage. If you're clumsy, you're not handy with a scalpel. Okay, wow, that really sucks. Um, okay, wow, time to run. I hope the treads hold out. Alright, so let's focus on capturing the enemy bases before I worry about moving the tank. Oh, come on! Huh? Again, if these guys do so little damage against my common foot soldiers, I'd hate to see how they do against, like, a Juggernaut from Call of Duty. Those look extreme. Okay, we got one. Yes, I know how retreating works, and nor do I really want to retreat. Alright, set up a firing line and knock him down. Yes, I know how reinforcements work, I just don't want to call in any reinforcements because I don't feel like I need them. Oh, that guy's a commander. You can tell because he provides an extra movement point. Wow, you are very inaccurate with that rifle. 
Wow, these guys really don't want to move. Wow, that tank just disappeared. Didn't even leave any wreckage. Hello, everybody. Don't mind me. Just your friendly neighborhood tank. Now then, move up our lard, our engineers. Our engineer, who is armed to the teeth with three grenades! Why does he have three grenades, but everyone else only has one grenade? That's weird. And then again, if he's like a combat engineer, I guess he would have a lot of explosives. Wow! Olar's earning his paycheck today! <laughs> I like how he keeps his finger off the trigger of his gun when he's not actively shooting. That's actually a really good thing to do. I am genuinely shocked because very few people actually tend to do that anymore. Unless you're actually trained. I don't know. Maybe you do. I don't know. Oh crap, we're getting shot at with a machine gun. Machine gun, machine gun, machine gun, machine gun, machine gun, machine gun, machine gun. Machine gun, machine gun. Oh wow, that was easy. You're too well fortified. Even with the camp, we can't advance like that. This is bad, Claude. If this keeps up the most. What are you talking about? I've been mowing them down. Better than sitting here and die. No, a frontal assault is way too dangerous. We have to stand back. Easy for you to say. Damn, if only we had artillery. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Man portable mortars. There has to be some way through. Just hang on until I find Alright, I'm telling you, a mortar would work great right about now. You know what I could do? I could do this. I could use the tank as cover. Oh, never mind. Tank's not going to be able to go through here. Okay. Well, I can use the tank to probably target people who are trying to move up. See their wife and family again. Can I use a machine gun? Let's see if I can... Ugh, I can't hit him with a machine gun. Alright, so we'll put the tank here, and I'm going to use my sniper. Yeah, we'll just use the sniper, and we'll resupply her with the engineer every, like, five seconds. That well, takes five shots. One shot's all I need. Maybe even more. See, look, we have, we have people posted with the sniper. We can just wipe out these guys. Wait, what, are you starving yourself to hell? So now we're gonna put the engineer with the sniper. Enemies everywhere. What are you talking about? I'm wiping them out! <laughs> Looks like you're in a tight spot, Cinderella. Who? Wait, Cinder, what now? This sure as hell ain't a fairy tale! No, it's not. to get to the ball at the castle, but I don't even have a pumpkin, let alone a carriage. Seriously? What's gotten into you, Claude? <laughs> well, I'm no godmother, but I can... Magic, huh? We could use a little. Oh, great. See, I told you a mortar would work. I... Yeah, look, I, a mortar. I told you mortars would work. Why do you call them grenadiers? They're not launching grenades. They're launching mortars. I told you, a mortar would work wonder- Also, that hair cannot be regulation. I'm sorry, but you're gonna get article, like, what is it? Article 15? What's the one for, like, not having, like, hair and stuff on regulation, like, uniforms and stuff? Oh, it's official. You suck. I'm never using you. <laughs> now advance. 
advancing. Fight! Too easy. Done and done. Great, we'll just use the sniper and the engineer because the sniper is the only one who I can actually rely on. Although I might as well keep the mortar because if they can do interception fire, then that's really gonna kill some enemies. Uh, I mean, you could, you just blow yourself up if you use grenades that close. There, come on, come on now. Wow, these grenades mortars are heavily inaccurate. As if I would not have been able to guess. I mean, yeah, there's got to be some game balancing, you know? There you are. There you are. Wow, you suck. Oh god, who should? Great, so let's move up the engineer to resupply them. And then I guess we'll just wait for the enemy. So, we'll keep a lord back. He'll be like our rear echelon guy. Oh my god, the mortars can fire at them while they're advancing? That's bloody brilliant. I don't know why our... Never mind, our sniper doesn't need to fire back because we have a machine gun. Yeah, just keep going. Great, now we can't use the sniper because there's a shock trooper right there. Here I go. Can I even hit that guy from here? No, I gotta get closer, okay. So grab the mortar. That is a very advanced mortar if that thing can just fold up. Oh god, get, 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 get him moving, get him moving! Wow, these submachine guns do very little damage. I was expecting them to do more damage. Okay, yeah, we can't hit that guy from here, so just mortar the crap out of this guy. Uh, it's a learning experience. No, it's not. It's called warfare, and you're gonna die if you can't... Okay, you actually did hit him. I don't know how he's not dead if that thing just literally plopped onto his head. But you know what? I don't care. Alright. There, yeah, let's use the scout... I don't know why they call them scouts, just call them riflemen. They don't function like scouts, they function more like riflemen. I would not say that. Considering how much luck I had with the last game, murdered half of my squad <laughs> with poor tactical decisions before I actually got anywhere. I really don't care. Uh oh, we got shock troopers. Here I go. 
Now yeah, we're just gonna move up the mortar, and hopefully the mortar can hit that guy over there. And maybe wipe out those, uh, those shock troopers, should we need that. Come on now, 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 come on now. There we go. Enemy gun emplacement destroyed. Got him. Yeah, you you got him by throwing a mortar at his face, effectively. That makes 100% sense. Alright, time to move up our shock trooper. Yeah, I know, I'm just moving up my machine gun guy to lead my rifleman guys to kill these enemies. The and hopefully capture the base if I have enough movement, which I probably won't, but well, who cares? I've got this! The rogue no, no. You're kidding me, that's literally the range of the grenade? It's a stick grenade, it should be significantly farther. Yeah, whatever, shoot this guy. Your own damn fault. Oh god. I love how the shock troopers do more damage against other shock troopers, that makes sense. Maybe shock troopers just have really low defense. That's a sniper. Wow. That's how much damage a long-range sniper rifle can do. I don't- I don't want to see what kind of damage- This one just barely does any damage! How are we losing this war if our weapons are this much better? There we go, target dead. Alright, let's go. That should make things a little easier. There's the gun. It looks like a tank destroyer more than an actual gun. Time for a dissection. What? That's terrifying. Operatia completia. I don't speak Russian. <laughs> Alright, we broke through. Keep advancing. Capture that cannon. Yeah, that's what we've been trying to do this- we won't let the blood That's not a scow. That guy doesn't have a helmet that looks anything like anything else. Glory to the motherland! What? Everyone, get down! Holy crap! That guy just suicide bombed us! What is this, Afghanistan? Neat. Oh, we got a lot of money. <laughs> All right. You certainly impressed someone in that last battle. HQ sent you something nice as a reward. Cool. What did we get? His troll cap. Wow. I. Don't care. This is literally worthless. I could have bought this for less money. So this is the 21 centimeter howitzer. Well, too bad we can't use it now. Oh, what's left of it anyway? So much for surrendering. Denying us this scrap metal cost them their lives. They chose death before dishonor. So wait a minute. Are these guys Russian or Japanese? Or are they German? Or are they British or French or American or anything else? I don't know what these guys are. I don't even care. Everyone who goes to war knows they might die. Okay, so. But if I was in their shoes, I don't think I could pull the trigger. Luckily enough, you're just a uh, you just drive a tank. You don't have to worry about shooting. That's the gunner's job. Fighting to die, we're fighting to live. 
I have no response. These men died for their country, and I respect that. Still. Yeah, I can respect dying for your country and all, like... But they're still my enemies! <laughs> yeah. Weapons can be replaced. Lives can't. Why are you guys... Let's just take the prisoners we can, and, uh... Or did they blow... Oh, did they all blow themselves up? I have no idea. But, speaking of weapons... How about those new guns the reinforcements were carrying? Yeah, it's called a mortar. For being portable, it sure packed a wallop. Big things really do come in small packages. Funny. It's got state-of-the-art tech with the range of a tank. Never seen one of these beauties? And I thought you were supposed to be the cream of the crop. Never talk like that. That's a nice mortar. Okay, so we got some history. It's called a mortar. Did it take you guys that long to figure it out? Every soldier's wish. Awesome, right? You see in this? Isn't that Okay, so we do have some shared history, okay. Let's finish up this episode and then we'll uh then I'll go because this has been over an hour. Does it matter? Because I am. I'm impressed at how quickly they were able to change their tactics on the fly. Oh. Uh. Hmm? Wait, Raz, what are you doing in the Edinburgh Army? I enlisted because I'm an idiot who didn't want to save my own country, so instead I went to go save another country. We enlisted together to protect Galia. Good plan, Raz. Well. <laughs> Riley. Hmm, I don't really get it, but okay. I'll call you Kai. Cool. Anyway, it's so amazing to see you. What are the odds of seeing old friends in a foreign war zone? Uh, let me run some math. About four thousand nine hundred sixty-two to one. It's me. How do you end up in joint operations anyway? Since you asked so nicely, <clears throat> I'm Lieutenant Riley Miller. After majoring in Ragnite Engineering, the Army brought me on as an artillery advisor. Oh, artillery! I like artillery. <laughs> Cool, so we got a scientist instead of a soldier. That's great. Just what our squad needed. We appreciate the support, Riley. So, where's the commander? I wanted to introduce myself. Uh, about that. It's not just us two in this squad. Huh? You mean Kai's here after all, or...? Riley, I'm the commander of Squad E. Oh, you're pretty young for an officer. But I was impressed out there. My knowledge is your. Oh no! Oh, there's some scared history here, isn't there? Claude Wallace. Ow! Is that like a Will Smith slap, or was that like a uh, a Jack Sparrow slap, where I actually deserve it? Or is it like both those situations where I probably deserve it? Screw that. Um, well. <sighs> I'm just gonna edit in like a clip or something if I can of like Jack Sparrow getting slapped by that woman in Pirates of the Caribbean, whatever. Chapter 2.
The Liberation of Rain. For meritorious action in capturing Fort Crest, you've earned this medal. It's a good start. No! I just know it's not like shiny things. I'm like a baby. If you put shiny things in front of me, I will eventually chase it. Listen up, everyone. I'd like to introduce a new member of Squad E. Oh, yeah. Connor Doherty. I'm writing a book. Uh, a war story. Nonfiction. It's good to meet you. I don't like you already. You're a you. fort mercenary. You pay, I shoot. Why do we have a mercenary instead of a full professional soldier? That sounds like a terrible idea, just saying. We saw how Russia went with Wagner Group, just just saying. Current events, humor, that's probably not even funny. It's woken a new potential self-conscious. Learner's permit. Well, well, that's going to do it for this episode here, guys. I just want to save, and then we'll be gone. How, how do I save? I, I want to overwrite. How, how do I overwrite? Oh, that's an auto-save. Okay. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video so much. I'll see you all in the next video. Uh, goodbye. Where's my, where's my hotkey to end the video?